And then you are the proud owner of a smartphone. But actually what you should have done first was make a copy of all your contacts on your computer. Because sometimes, no, in most cases, you need a new SIM or micro SIM. So you can't use your old one to copy the contacts into your new device. Once you've done this, it's a good idea to first have a look of what your device is going to be capable of and then see what you need extra. Oh yes, if you think that after buying your iPhone that was all, no, it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. Cause, first of all, you need wireless internet, Wi-Fi, and most important, 3G and in the near future 4G, a data plan. Now as Wi-Fi I would go for Linksys. As a data plan I can only speak for Belgium and I can suggest mobile thickings. Now what can I do with this device? Well to find out what you can do you can always go to the brand's website Nokia, Apple, LG, but you can also go to YouTube and look for reviews on the device. And then you are the proud owner of a smartphone. And what are you going to do with it? Now if you need it for work, it's a good choice. You can do a lot with it. But more and more people start using it for social networking. Now in the near future it's not gonna be about on which social network site you are, it's gonna be all about who makes the best app that combines them all on your smartphone. Now soon most iPhone apps will also work on Android and on the other platforms. But for now iPhone is the best buy, at least that's my humble meaning. The best social network still is amongst people, at the bar, sport club, where the real people are. Bye.